Hi, I'm David Hill with New York Habitat. Today we kick off the first episode on our two-part video tour of the mystic port city of Marseille, the second largest city in France. Marseille is located on the Mediterranean coast in the south of France. It has a Mediterranean climate with mild, humid winters and warm to hot, mostly dry summers. Marseille has a vast public transport system involving trams, metro and buses all under a single ticketing system, so it's quite easy to get around. If you're looking to get some exercise in, there's also an excellent automated bike rental system. We'll start our tour in the area called Vieux-Port, or Old Port in English. This is probably the top destination in Marseille for tourists. It's often said that this is where civilization began, as this is where the Greeks set up in 600 BC. As of 2013, the city has transformed the Vieux-Port into mainly a pedestrian area. If you like museums, you'll love Marseille. Today we'll be visiting a few of them. On the north side of the port, you'll find the Museum of European and Mediterranean Civilizations. Its goal is to compare all aspects of the cultures of the Mediterranean. Being a port city, Marseille has a whole museum dedicated to sea trade. The Marine and Economy Museum is quite a gem. Marseille Town Hall is a graceful example of 17th century architecture. The spot has been a meeting place of the city council since the Middle Ages. At the mouth of the Vieux-Port, you'll find two forts, St. Nicholas Fort and St. John Fort. Head to St. Nicholas Fort for some great views of the port. While you won't be able to stay in a fort in Marseille, the next best thing is to stay in a Marseille apartment. Booking a furnished apartment or vacation rental from New York Habitat is the best way to experience this amazing city. Along the Vieux-Port, you'll find La Crie, the National Theater of Marseille. Here you can catch French renditions of Shakespeare plays and other classics. Another great destination near the port is the Abbey of Saint-Victor. Founded in the 5th century, it has a long history of being a place of worship, being ransacked, and being restored. The Catholic Basilica Notre-Dame de la Garde is another must-see church in Marseille. Located at the highest natural point in the city, it was consecrated in 1864. If you love neighborhoods with a maze of winding narrow streets like I do, then you'll want to visit the area in Marseille known as Le Panier. You'll find tons of small boutique shops and charming cafes in this chic bohemian neighborhood. Situated in the heart of Le Panier is the Vieille Charité. 
It was originally built to house the poor and is currently a museum and cultural center. Construction was started in 1671, but was not completed until 1749. Heading back down towards the sea, you'll come to the Cathédrale Saint-Marie-Majeur de Marseille, or as the locals call it, the Major. The current version of this cathedral was built from 1852 to 1896 on the site used for the cathedrals of Marseille since the 15th century. Well, we've come to the end of the first episode of our two-part series on Marseille. There will be more to come in the future video. In the meantime, if you know of any hot spots you'd like to share with us, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below. And don't forget to visit our website at nyhabitat.com, where you'll find many furnished apartments and vacation rentals available in Marseille and throughout the south of France. I'm David Hill with New York Habitat. We hope to see you soon strolling the docks of Marseille.